Hello and welcome to another video and welcome to Penzance. Now at the station here in Penzance it is the most southerly railway station in the UK and Penzance is the most westerly town you can get in England. But today I'm going even further west in England, about 30 miles that way are the Scilly Isles and that's where I'm headed by plane with Isles of Scilly Skybus. It's going to be an interesting day. I almost didn't take this trip because the weather here was just so unpredictable. Yesterday there was torrential rain. And as you can probably tell, I've been rained on uh, as I've walked up to the station from my hotel this morning. I'm waiting for the bus that will take me to the airport. Let's just see how it pans out. Should be a good one. Enjoy the video. If you're flying from Lands End Airport with Isles of Silly Sky Bus, you can book a bus, one with four wheels that is, to take you from Penzance Station to the airport. It costs seven pounds. Look out for the marked bay by the station and don't do what I did and hang around the actual bus station for 10 minutes. The trip takes around 20 minutes along some rather narrow roads and eventually you'll come to the small but perfectly formed Land's End Airport. I've been to a lot of small airports and this one is by far the nicest with just one check-in desk, one airline to handle, one cafe and one gate it feels a lot more like the visitor centre of a nature reserve than an airport. And I mean that in a good way, it is a lovely airport. What it isn't, however, is a sleepy backwater. There were 24 public flights booked in or out of the airport today, as well as a few charters, and there was always something going on outside on the tarmac. Almost all Skybus flights use the remarkable Twin Otter aircraft, with the even smaller Britain Norman Islanders relegated to occasional charters and subbing in for a Twin Otter if one gets a tech fault. This Islander appears to be going nowhere today. So as you can see, it is a lot brighter than when I first introduced the video and it's turning out to be, fingers crossed, quite a nice day. Anyway, a couple of things you'll need to know if you're gonna fly with Isles of Scilly Skybus over to the Isles of Scilly. Firstly, there are no dedicated boarding passes. You'll get either a yellow or a white boarding pass like this, depending on which flight you're on, and it's all handwritten. It won't have your name on it. Secondly, even though we're traveling pretty light today, uh, unfortunately, I've had to check in my uh, backpack as well as my regular hold bag. Apparently, uh, my backpack is too large to go on the aircraft. So if you're like me and carry cameras, um, then you should really come prepared with a large camera pouch like me. Yes, Skybus has a very restrictive hand luggage rule, much more so than other Twin Otter operators I've come across in the past. So forewarned is forearmed and be prepared to check even a reasonably sized backpack. The safety briefing is held in a small room between the gate and the entrance to the tarmac. As it turns out, my seat, 7C, is an exit row and doesn't have any space for under seat bags at all. Yes. Yeah, you'll have to wait. Oh, that's all right. Sorry. No, it's not going to leave without me, don't worry. <laughs> oh, Oh, 
An estate agent would describe the Twin Otter as cosy, boutique and brimming with character. Basically, it's very small, but the flight is only 20 minutes. Being right at the back, my cockpit footage wasn't great on this journey, but I got a ton of much better footage on the way back, as you'll see later in the video. So here we go, we are on our way to the most westerly part of England, the Scilly Isles. Lands End Airport has sent flights to St Mary's Airport on the Isles of Scilly as far back as 1937. Today it has two tarmac runways and because of the stiff westerly wind today, we used runway 25, the shorter of the two, to take off. St Mary's is a similar affair, two intersecting tarmac runways on top of the cliffs and one small terminal building. We land on runway 27, again the shorter of the two because of the wind direction. We fly at just 2,000 feet and it'll take us 20 minutes to fly 30 miles. And what a day for flying too! Despite the bumpy conditions, the views were faultless. This is Senan Cove Lifeboat Station, and here is the Land's End Visitor Attraction, which you can just about make out through the blur. As far as passenger amenities go, there's a light, which doesn't work, and if you want a sick bag, well, good luck reaching one from your seat in 7C. Still, the legroom is unbeatable. A couple of things to point out that are unusual. Firstly, this animal carrier, which I've never seen in a passenger cabin before, and there's no eating or drinking allowed whatsoever. It's not clear if this is because the airline doesn't want to have to clean during its very tight turnarounds, or whether it's related to COVID, but there you have it.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Right, thank you. Cheers. Good morning. Inside the green line, all the way to the bottom, left Checking. around the building. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Here we are, welcome to the Isles of Silly. The Isles of Silly are a world away from the rest of Cornwall, almost like passing into a dimension where time goes a little more slowly and the weather is a little more sunny. So, my original plan had been to hike the main island, St Mary's, and head back to Penzance on the ferry, something I'd bought as a package from Isles of Silly Travel. However, although this video suggests this was a calm summer's day, the weather was really unpredictable, and having seen the weather advisory, I realised there was a good chance of being late. All my travel is done on a really tight schedule, and I always have a plan B and a plan C. My plan B was to have a late breakfast and book a return flight instead. This cost me £93 on top of the £179 I'd already paid, so this was an expensive day out, but worth it. Still, it just gives me an excuse to come back, and I might even try the helicopter next time too. These islands are beautiful. I'm so pleased to have visited, even if it was just for half a day. You see, I'm old enough to remember life as a geography-obsessed kid without the internet. The sillies on the map were always mysterious. You couldn't go online to easily find out what it was like there. There was no Google Street View to spoil things, of course. It was just a total unknown off the coast of England. As you can see, the sillies are bloody lovely, and I promise you there are no filters used on these clips.
Our return trip benefited from a stiff tailwind and we completed the trip in just 15 minutes with stunning views of the Cornish coast. And that's it, we're back on solid ground again. Thanks so much to Free Trade for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Go to freetrade.io forward slash winginit, download the Free Trade app, create and fund your account, and you'll get a random free share worth between £3 and £200. Start investing responsibly today. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.